Welcome to the first tournament of the year. This is at Fairfield Ludlow. As you can see, um, just prior to the match, uh, the tournament director is going to discuss some basic uh, plans for the day with the uh, wrestlers. We're wrestling off of three mats today, and uh, there are about 10 or 11 teams up now at 126. I'm sorry, 132 is uh, Duncan going against Fairfield Prep. Duncan um, coming up this year, doing a good job. A little, little slap across the, the face from Prep. The ref comes in, tells him what to do, what not to do. You can see there's a minute 52. These are three two-minute matches. Duncan comes out, working off of a tie-up. These appear to be two wrestlers with a very similar structure, not that common. Duncan fights off an initiative from Prep. He's underneath, driving toward him. Duncan looking to get behind for two. Prep looking to get behind as well. And uh, you can see in the, the foreground, the prep coaches telling their wrestler what to do. And uh, Duncan scoots behind, get two. He's got the arm caught, and he's got the half. He's going to have to drive, pull down, pull down hard on the head and get, get behind him. And he's staying behind the guy. Instead of coming out, he turns him out at 90 degrees, and you see the ref's right there to determine whether, there it is, one. He's got to be 45 degrees to get points. He's going to get his points, but he may stick him. He's, he pins him straight away. First period pin by Duncan. A great win, a good start here to uh, to this uh, double L tournament. We're the only S team, I'm sorry, Notre Dame of uh, Fairfield is also here there S as well. Good job, Duncan. Hustles right off the mat. Goes to the score table. Up now at 145, Garrett Healy. On the center mat. He is going against, is that, oh, that's Staples. Don't have much information on some of these, uh, these wrestlers. Healy working up tall. He's gonna look for that right ankle. He likes to do, there it is, he's, he goes a little too high to the knee. It makes it harder to pull the guy down. He scoots around, he does not get his two. So pick him up, he's got to return him to the mat and get control. It's, it's more about control. Oh, Staples pinches him and gets him down to the mat. 2-0 with a minute 30 left in this first two minute period. Grimps down, works out of a sit, pulls over. And he's gonna get two right there, that's good. Good move, sit to a roll. Nice pickup, gets good elevation, brings the man back down to his uh, his knees. And uh, see that distance there? You want to keep that distance a little tighter. Working off his knees, he needs to flatten out, put more weight on his man. Staples able to <coughs> easily go to his knees, gets to a stand. Healy returns him nicely. Ref watching to see if he's got his hands locked underneath. That'd be a penalty point. See the ref gets down there, so he hits good. Good view of this. 35 seconds left. <coughs> Hilly working in the half from the knees. You work the half. It's one thing to start the half from behind, but you do have to come out. Here's a far side half. And he's got the near side leg locked up. You can see his near side leg's locked up. He's going to try to stack him with just 14 seconds left. He's getting points right there. He's looking away. He got, he's going to get all three points, and he may stick him right here. He looks pretty flat. Oh, and he does. Great job. <laughs> Boy, this team's coming out of the gates with their guns blazing. That's two for two here at Fairfield Ludlow against Staples. And Healy doing a great job. Up now. Senior captain, Petrolini at 126. 126. He will be going against Ludlow, the home team. It's always a wonderful thing to beat the home team wrestler. 
beat them at their own game on their home turf, in their own house, however you want to phrase it. Handshake, and they're off. Petrolini, as I said, is a senior this year. Pulls him down, gets overhead headlock. Going to circle around, trying to hook that leg. He's got to step over, big step on that leg. There's two. Gets behind him. Picks him up. Nice return. I do something with that. Gathers up the, the arm. He's got a chicken wing on the near side. He's going to try to walk around the head. He's doing a good job. He's trying to get some nice walkovers. Puts him right to his back. Wow, this is, this is a, a different Northwestern team. Aggressive. One move after another move. Great start. Three up, three down. This is the first round. It only gets harder. Coming up now. At, uh, up now. 138, Josh Schwartz. Going against, um, I'm not sure who this is. Clock's getting set, two minutes, three two minute matches. I'm gonna say this is prep, Fairfield prep. Schwartz working off of a tie up. Likes to work to the center of the mat. Fairfield shoots, Schwartz wizards, comes back with a wizard, steps over. Now two yet, no two yet, no two yet. He's got that wizard, he's gonna to look to convert that. And you can see by the rep, there's a, he's gotta come, he's gotta do something with that wizard, he can't hold on to it. And they go out of bounds, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, that's Cheshire. That's right, Cheshire. No points, they go out of bounds, and they start again. Schwartz, a single leg shooter. Likes to go to his left. Freshman this year. Shoots that single leg to the left, flattens out, goes out of bounds, comes back to the center. Good hustle. Let's go, Josh. You notice every time the whistle blows, Cheshire likes to go backward, likes to back step. Works the outside circle. Schwartz likes to stay in the center. Work the inside circle. No shot there. Should be more action first period. There's a shot with the whizzer. And he gets two right there, right off the whistle. I believe this is the first seed. Schwartz as a freshman has no record to speak of, so he goes in, gets picked out of the hat. He's going against the top seed guy. Top guy puts the legs in, Schwartz on the bottom. He's a little high, a little crooked. Schwartz looking to whip him. His arm comes loose. Here's a hip whip, not very strong, but the mechanism is there. Schwartz trying to step over, pulls that other man down. You see he's stepped over now. Schwartz down 2-0, looking to change that. He's going to get the reversal right there. I don't know if I would have called that a reversal, but the ref does. That's 2-2. End of the first period. A little iffy on that reversal, but I'm not the ref. Schwartz chooses down. He gets set, instructed to get on top. As you can see from the ref, Cheshire on top. First move, a short sit from with a crimp. Crimp is plucking down on that arm. Half Nelson from the stand, another crimp. Goes nowhere, a little loose on that. That's a full Nelson. You couldn't see it, but he, you saw the right side half. You couldn't see the left side, but again, you, you get those two halves together at the same time on the head. It's an automatic stoppage and a point to the guy who was down. So, Schwartz takes a Penalty point and the lead, three to two. Short sit again, gets his head, cuts his arm to, through. He's gonna face him. No change in, in, in points yet. 
uh, in position. But if Schwartz can get out, that'll be another point for escape. Uh, it could be back point, so only one second. You got to be down for at least three seconds. Two seconds, rather. Schwartz needs to stand up or step over. They're just about out of bounds. Schwartz's weight bearing area inside the mat, and Cheshire, now they're both in. Well, this is going to be two right here. That's two. Schwartz gets the reversal. It's now five to two. And Schwartz has him almost exposed. There's no, only one second. Well, now he's got him on his back. Are his shoulder blades in the mat or out of the mat? Take a look. There's a great shot right there. The ref indicates that he's out of the mat. Now he's in. One, two. Only two seconds. He's going to roll right out of there. He's going to get two points on there. That's seven to two. Schwartz has a left leg tied up pretty quickly. You can see inside the, the upper thigh. He's going to try to work a tilt from here. Cheshire not doing much. Schwartz just doing a little bit more than Cheshire, and that's enough to give you that point span. Cheshire trying to do a left set leg stand. Schwartz tying up his leg makes it difficult. difficult. <coughs> Ref calls a stalemate. They come back to the center. You can see with 15 seconds left, scores 7 2 in the losing seconds of the second period. Cheshire takes down. Schwartz comes in on the left. Tempted sit. Schwartz stops it with the leg. Short time. There's a tap, tap around the mat. He's going to tap the ref. 3, 2, 1. And he taps him so the ref can. Pay attention to the match and not have to look at the clock. So, third period. Two minutes left. Schwartz up 7-2. to two. And you can see Cheshire chooses up. He did take Schwartz down, and so he would expect to take him down again. Can Schwartz make the, the inter-match correction? So he doesn't get taken down. There's the shot. There's the wizard. We saw that in the first period. Cheshire stepping over. Schwartz making it hard to get his points, but it is potentially dangerous. No points on that. You can see the ref and the coach discussing it. And uh, without, refill, uh, without uh, review, it's hard to tell. That might have been two, but it would have been, um, have no bearing on it. Let's just play it out as seven to four. There's a shot. Let's say he had two points, okay? Schwartz would have been down. There's the shot again, and a whizzer again. Right, same situation. That's why you have to make a correction during the mat. He's coming across. Could be a trip here, and Schwartz stays up. He's going over the top, and there's two. Okay, so now it would have been at seven to four. It could have been seven to six if he got that two. So Schwartz on the bottom, the half in. Okay, Schwartz up by one or three. We're playing both sides of the coin here. See the fans watching right on the side. There's a lot to watch here. Schwartz turns around. He, he might get two out of this. Pick him up. Brings him down. He gets flipped over. He'll recorrect. I think he's going to end up with two. There it is. Yep. Two points right there. So now nine to four. If he had gotten that. All right. There's an injury out here. Just give him a minute on the bottom. We're back. Cheshire on the bottom, nine to four. Granby with the follow. No points, brought out of bounds. Little loose on the top, but no change. Still nine to four, 35 seconds left, third period. Cheshire returns to the center of their mat on the bottom, Schwartz on top. Wrestling is a great sport. You could be losing with, you know, a couple seconds left and win it. Cheshire sits, Schwartz jumps over, he's gonna have to drive, he's gotta pick up that arm that's holding Cheshire up. Schwartz out of position, his head's down on the mat, not a good thing. 
And the ref might call stalemate, or he may let this go all the way around. Cheshire's not going to get the two if he's still on his... Here's two. If he's on his butt, he's not getting any two points. Here, he's going to be desperate to turn this guy over. He gets this guy over, he's going to win this match. If he doesn't, there's no reason why Schwartz is going to go over. And that's the match right there. You can see the disappointment. Final score, 9-6. to six. And if he got those two other points, it might have been 9-8. to eight. But it's not. Six, another freshman joins Schwartz on this small team, bringing lots of talent. Going against Notre Dame and Fairfield. There's two Notre Dames, one in New Haven, and one in Fairfield. There seems to already be a, a, a point on the scoreboard. I don't know if that's... Uh, going to remain, I'm going to think not. Flino gets a leg. Gets his two. Wait, 
Looking for the tight waist and wing. Just gonna pull him back. A lot of activity. You'll notice the smaller these guys are, the more activity there is. <coughs> Puts him right on his back with that wing. Somehow squirms out of it. He's gonna get three on that. Come back to the center. The score should be five to nothing. They got six to two. See the ref's gonna correct that. These score table people, they uh, spend a lot of time on their cell phones and texting and not really paying attention. That's a, that's a problem. They still can't get it right. Six to two. I'm not sure how that score is, but <clears throat> that's what it is, six to two. Let's go with it. All right, so Notre Dame is down. Felino's on top. There's the whistle. He's got a tight waist. He's going to pull that arm out. He goes, you'll notice these guys do the same things. There's a handful of moves that everybody does, and there's hundreds, maybe thousands of moves that are available. And a wrestler picks out what's good for him. And there's a move, and then the counter, and then the recounter. Felino likes that chicken wing. He does it almost all the time, as often as he can. He already scored on it today. Nice bring back. He's got that arm, bar arm locked up. Notre Dame once in a while putting his head to the mat. Felino looking to do a near side tilt with that bar arm. He's a little high for that. A little too far in front of him. See his head's a little too high. It's going to be hard to tilt him over and expose him. He's looking for a near side half. Notre Dame stands and Felino brings him right back. Nice move counter. That's the example. Chain wrestling. One move, it's like a dance. One move, then another move, then another move, and so on. You run out of moves, it's uh, that's no good. Fulino looking to get some points. He's got a deep. He's coming over the top with that. I think I'd be inclined to go underneath. But, and he's working off of his knees. That's better. He's on his belly now. He's going to get points. He got no points. Ran out of time. 6-2. Okay. You get your points early, you can run it out. You're either chasing or being chased in wrestling. Right now, Felino is being chased. He's up 6 2. Notre Dame on top. Second period. Good stand. Turns in. Gets his one straight away. This score is all wrong. But that's all right. We'll correct it later. Shoot, sets him up, spins around, gets his two. We got Felino with about eight. So I'm not sure who's comes over the top of the cradle. He's out of position for that particular cradle. Needs to reorient. He's got the hands locked up nicely, but just slightly out of position. Comes around one move after another. He's got the half, he's got the leg. Fell off of it. He's got that leg still. He's going to come around, step over. He's got to step over. He's got him. He's going to push down that head, try to stack him. <coughs> Coming over the top with this half again. I'm not sure where the leverage is on that, but he's got it worked out. He's got him on his back. He's going to get all three points on that. Converts to a half. Picks up the leg. He's going to go for a cradle here. Can't quite make it, but he's going to get the same. That's a pin. On the way to one thing, he finds something else. Takes it away. With a pin. Good job.